be useful. This could be useful. This, hmm. this could be useful. I wonder what this is. What can we do when our last hope fails? That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony, but our hero never came home. Only the storm, the beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something. Has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower. Learn what became of our warrior. Face the looks within. When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. in there. Hurry up, be okay. We got company!
awake. Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? Ward 13. It's safe here. Maybe the only safe place there is. I'm Wallace. I, I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. Oh, Commander Ford. She's in charge. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. But he's... Was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll see you later. Well, well. Look who's awake. I figured you for dead. Riggs and I barely pulled you out of that mess. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are... an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for... weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there, or... We'll let the root have you. Hmm. No one has been in that tower in a very long time. But you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But, now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what. You want to leave? You'll have to do something for us first. First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. Nothing around here is easy. Watch your back. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the Root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs. About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the Root. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Riggler. <laughs> Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your, uh, sword mm. was pretty banged up in the fight. Not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. I think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there.
What? Where the hell did you come from? You nearly scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterill? You? That right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? <laughs> so you figured you'd just come down here and wing it? Lucky for you, just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. There. That should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. and the power's back on, I'd call that a win. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the need some help out there discount.
Sure is good to have some light around here. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast, when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? That's the spirit. Uh, here, I want you to have this. Not many people can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. But that stone there, free of charge. Take good care of it. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, <laughs> Commander Ford. She knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. You picked a hell of a time to visit the ward, friend. Great work with the reactor, friend. You make a good team. Glad to see you got the reactor running. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the Dragon Heart. <sighs> he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. Then, I imagine he said I could help you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. Go see Riggs and McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city, as a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. It's not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. We'd all be long gone if Ford didn't run a tight ship. She keeps this place going. And helps folks like you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work.
So you're the stray Ford was talking about. <laughs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me, giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. All right, then. Let's see what we're dealing with here. From the look of that rifle, you're not getting close to the action. This'll keep those weeds in your sights. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. Oh. Uh, don't thank me just yet. I heard those roots screaming from here. Hope they didn't leave any stragglers. You restored the power, didn't you? Yeah, I had a good feeling about you. Half expected my stuff to be gone when the power came back on. The storm was a bad omen. Sign of things to come. So glad we're not in the dark anymore. That ace, he's a brave one. Leaving the ward to get supplies for us. be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there searching. One day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. There's a room just outside the ward. 
all his notes, any hint of where he went. It's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck. Down at the reactor. Spirits are way up. Told them I couldn't have done it alone. And that's true. I'm only sorry we didn't find less. Guess my lucky coin couldn't keep him safe. We're both gone now. Gotta move on. But hey, if you find good scrounge out in the world, bring it by, yeah? I'll deal your fare. Your yeah, friend? We weren't properly introduced before. Name's Reginald Malone. But you can just call me Reggie. If you're looking for a fix to what ails you, I'm your guy. More if you just want to swap stories, I'm good for that too. I bet you got your share. <laughs> Dear. Ah, nice one, friend. I reckon it is. Man, it's good to see a new face again. Folks around here are uh, getting grim these days. Not easy keeping yourself together day to day with the monsters all around us. Yeah, give a kind word where you can and the world ain't all bleak. But hey, <laughs> you found us a way out, didn't you? You're the hero of the war today, friend. Keep spreading the hope. All right, uh, I'll oblige you if I can. War 13. <laughs> what can't I tell you? Well, uh, a lot, actually. Places as old as teeth. The Ward's been here since the world fell. Took on by Commander Andrew Ford. Made a dream in peace. Story goes the other Ward were overrun. But not this one. <laughs> oh, no, not this one. Oh, I don't like to gossip, but you twist my arm. <laughs> McCabe's rough around the edges. I reckon she don't mind the company here. Riggs, he'd give you the shirt off his back if you asked. Bo, don't have much experience, but he's keen to do right by the war. Ace is friendly enough. Oh, she keeps her cards close to her chest. Uh, Wallace, poor boy. He's just settling in. Damn shame. Losing his brother. We'll do our best by him. But that's a thread not easily tied. Oh, hey, uh, not much to tell about old Reggie. My story is like so many out there. Loss, hunger, fear. And by providence, I found my way here. The last bastion of kindness and light. Searching my life. Oh, this place is like reaching through an endless fog. I do remember a ring I wore once. My greatest treasure. The last remnant of an old tale. <laughs> but it's lost now. Ellen? Damn fine leader. Granddaughter of the founder for it. She's seen us through some hard times. She might not admit it. But she's done some fine work with the hand she was dealt. Uh, anything else you need? Here, friend.
Oh, it's that smell. They ain't listening. He's listening. No, they ain't listening. Wait, 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 where'd you come from? What do you want? No. No. Y yep. Right as, right, right, right as acid rain, yeah? Yes, yes. Yes! Okay, goodbye. No, nothing. Nobody. Just a host. Just, just, just a host. Uh, just... Shut up! Voices. It's the voices. Millions of them all connected, all seeing, all talking over each other until they speak as one, and then I... I can't. I can't. Help. Help. Beyond help. Oh, world's gone to hell. God, the destroyer, he sees you. He knows what you're doing. They all know. Uh, forget. Yeah, forgot everything. I forget nothing. The oak is all. Is all. Oak is all. The oak's uh, watching, huh? It's always watching. A thousand eyes, mouths whispering, waiting. Whisper, whisper, whisper. No. No, I found nothing, saw nothing, hear nothing. But whispers. Whispers, whispers. You gotta go. I don't wanna. Don't you make me. Don't ask again. Uh-huh. Yeah, the whispers say, pay it no mind. What, 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 uh, what oak? No, st stop it. Stop, please. What mask? I, I ain't wearing no, uh, oh, uh, I don't know. Don't ask, don't ask, don't ask. Shh, not so loud. They'll hear. Sure. Fine, but just, just, just keep your voice down. They can hear you. I don't, I don't know. you like to know? Oh, uh, well, made some of them myself. But, you know, my, uh, partner, Judd, made most of the really good stuff. Judd, well, he... Uh, he was a genius. We put together what we could find, you know? Microwaves, sinks, car engines, <laughs> you name it. I tell you, feels right putting forgotten things back to work, you know? Oh, sorry. I'm talking your ear off, ain't I? Something else I can do for you. Uh, <laughs> not really my place to say. People can tell you about themselves if they want. Just be careful around McCabe, like I said. Oh, uh... Same place so many go these days. We had a rough winter a while back. 
Jed got sick, and, well, and now it's just me. The ward's full of people carrying the loss with them. But to keep going on, we gotta find new family along the way. Life. Life ain't bad so long as you got folks to look out for, right? Anything else you need?
working and being interrupted. Not the conversation, that's for sure. You know, I'm actually great friends with this hammer. That fills my friend quota just fine. So I'd move along if I were you. Unless, of course, you'd like to get more acquainted with the hammer. We're done here? What? <sighs> All right then. I've got work to do. Yeah? Fine. Let's have a look.
I don't get turned around. Sure, we see all things. We are the root mother, a vessel of wisdom through which the root speaks. What is it you seek? The storm, the shield, the cloak that conceals the inevitable end. Has the hour come? Yes. Clearer it becomes. You seek to end the route, but the path is hidden. This vessel knows the road you seek. Help we must, but not where ears can hear. They will come for us when bonds we break. Will you protect? Will you trust? Ask, but I cannot answer what they must not know. Not while furled within their bows. We know how to find the path you seek, but they must not hear. Protect us you must, or nothing will be learnt. This vessel, once a child, now a watcher, awaiting the end of a beginning, a prophecy, you, how far, the path twisted and gnarled, the snarl and skein of the world, oh. No more can be said while tethered to root. We've seen all till time is undone. Many misfortunes, but you, the most bright, the dreamers are dead, the dragon unbound. The spy serves no purpose, but a warrior might. The Root will not release this vessel without consequence. You must defend us. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
Thank you, child. I have learned much from the root. I will aid you. We will fight it together. First, I must rest. Look there, the wall. There is a path I'm in beyond. trouble. Find the path. Then seek me out among your... Our kind. In the place you call the ward. I know the way. We shall meet again. Go. Go. We will speak again soon. I'm in trouble. much more myself and less no longer root no longer human it is age you seek a road you pursue you must find the one they call founder he alone knows the path you seek but to find him you must first open the labyrinth Look to a great shimmering light in the sky. The path to its source is protected by a monstrous root creature. Slay the beast, seek the light beyond, and the keeper of the labyrinth will make himself known to you. Wait, one more boon I can offer to fight back against that which would erase us all. You carry a piece of the dragon's heart. I can improve it, make it stronger. The root is selfish with its strengths, but with this, you may stand a chance. Great forces are wielded among the worlds, but they need not be exclusive. Ask, I have lost much since the war began, but I have gained much in return. Look to a, a gatekeeper, a protector, one and the same. The root stakes a claim that must not be. The keeper alone stems the flood. But for how long? <laughs> what makes a god? Power is relative. Worship, fickle. Creation is common, precious. You can believe the Keeper trades no stock in godhood, bound only by timeless duty. Cessation, the harbinger of silence. The Root seeks serenity. Among ashes, either they fail, or we will. Dreams only. Faded and tattered. The founder, Andrew, and I were together before the root. Now the memory wanes. I bear its burden no longer. 
A choice I made long ago. I thought it would turn the tide, but tides cannot be turned by thought alone. Desperation made me, child. It will make you as well. Very well. I can offer you this boon, child. There. Returns. Have you anything of the root for me? But I can't... Our new lady friend isn't too chatty. But I think she'll settle in just fine. My folks are keeping the distance. She's got a other world feel about her. <laughs> I reckon she's wiser than all of us put together. Ah, bless the ward. I don't believe it. There's no shortage of miracles about you. Oh, happy day. Thank you. Ah, my, my darling Francis. Now that there was a light in the dark, her laugh made even the shadows wither away. This, uh, this was a mother's ring. And when I gave it to Fran, she, uh, she said, Mama's spirit ain't heavy at all. Oh, when I lost Fran, too, I wish the world would swallow me whole. Only thing that kept me was. Knowing that as long as I wore the ring, I, I carried them with me. And friend was right. Their spirits ain't heavy at all. <sighs> you done me a world of good bringing them home to me. Keep carrying that light in the dark. All right. Uh, I'll oblige you if I can. Good to see you. That, uh, Root Mother? She ain't all there, is she? Rambling on about constructs and dreamers? Oof. Well, anyway. As long as she's fighting on our side, I'm not complaining. Oh, we have a new guest, eh? Well, she hasn't said much, but she stares right through you. Hopefully, we can make her feel welcome here. stranger into our midst. There's no way bringing a human root hybrid into the ward could backfire on us. What to do? We've made the root mother as comfortable as we could. She was closer to the root than anyone. Here's hoping she can help us. It's strange, though. She moves through the ward like she's been here before. I'll be keeping a close eye on her for now. We have no idea what to expect. If you need anything, ask around. Ward, got it? Hey, word is you freed that root lady. Is that true? Oh, man, she's got us all on edge. I'm keeping a close eye on her. She, she may be a root spy and not even know it. <laughs> yeah, Commander Ford gave me the name. I, I didn't have one when she took me in. I figure it means I'm part of the ward. It's my home. I run security for Ward 13. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning the ropes, but the Commander wouldn't give me this job if she didn't think I was fit to serve. We, we, run, we run drills all the time. I mean, I, I'm ready for anything. Yeah, yeah, Commander Ford found me at the gate when I was a few months old. Now, honestly, things aren't bad here if you stay inside. Good people, good... Well, <laughs> all right, food. <laughs> and most importantly, strong walls. I, I haven't been out in the city, but Ace tells me stories. Sounds like a nightmare. I'm happy I grew up here. It means I can give back, too. Keep us safe. I hope Wallace likes it here. I mean, 
It won't be easy without Mark. I'll look out for him. Well, I know he founded the ward. He closed the gates to protect everybody from the root. But, uh... uh Commander Ford doesn't like it when people talk about him, though. I, I mean, it seems like the founder was a hero, but... She's always got this... this scowl when he's mentioned. Oh, she's a great leader. She taught me everything I know. Like, I, I never knew my parents. I mean, everybody here raised me, really, but... Well, she's always been my mentor. But she can be tough, though. I mean, a commander has to make the hard choices, right? <sighs> I, mean, I, I still think I could have pulled Mark in the gates without the root making it in, but... Well, she had to make a call, and I gotta respect that. Remember, no restricted areas. Mm-hmm. I hope you got enough bullets. There's forces outside of our control working against us. Hey, no trouble in the ward, got it? I think the scariest thing about Deadwood is they... they never get tired. I wish McCabe would join us for meals, instead of hiding away in her shop. You, you touched that red crystal and deeper. It just disappeared. You were okay, gone for a while. I guess. I, I keep you thinking Mark back. would be around the corner. It just doesn't feel right. And being gone. I guess. I just wish I didn't dream about things before they happened, though. No one listens. Well, sometimes it feels like, like I'm there, with the root, like it's happening right now. I can, I can feel them. Sometimes I see people get hurt, and I know it hasn't happened yet. I wish they would listen to me. Only a few weeks. The commander found my brother and me. We got separated from our parents when the root attacked our home. Mark looked out for me when we were lost. I... I don't know what to do now that he's gone. Yeah. I try not to think about them. See you around. How is it that Ace can leave the ward and come back without a scratch on her? I think she's working for the dead one. It's over. <laughs> oh. 
Best step away, stranger. Unless you want a bullet through, <coughs> through your... <coughs> oh. <coughs> right as rain. <coughs> Just afflicted <coughs> with life in this hellhole is all. How much longer, though? <coughs> My key. Don't mind leaving my <laughs> effects behind if a good soul picks them up. Mind your feet, though. <laughs> traps. Traps everywhere. <laughs> now get on! <laughs> you got more room. Remember the traps. <laughs>
nuts! Cracks in the walls grow every day surrounding me. Human, the core is rotten. The root corrupts everything. Why do you distract the keeper? Hmm. Insignificant. Chance of success negligible. The guardians are destroyed. The devourer lurks unchecked. The labyrinth erodes daily, and I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and see. The labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path you require exists, it lies within. Hmm. Yes. There is time. The root threatens every world, so every world is given a protector. Guardians are not easily killed. When one dies, however, the root can claim that world and grow stronger. The loss of several guardians made way for the devourer. The devourer has made the root very strong indeed. I am the Keeper. I will be the last to fall. This place is both like the worlds and unlike them. It is the core, inviolable, and without need of a guardian. I have neither knowledge nor resources to devote to the question. The route could not have come without invitation. An agent of the route whether witting or unwitting is unknown and irrelevant. The Devourer was the one who erased even the Labyrinth's guardian, leaving only myself to hold back on ending rot. Unfortunately, my battle cannot be won with time. It is the seat of the worlds, built upon the core, and all worlds are built upon it. The labyrinth contains all doors that ever were, are, or may be. Some are lost, some destroyed, but all are contained within. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment.
Great King, I did not expect... You? You are not he. Yet you have opened the gates. A second Nui? It must be. Forgive my confusion, unheralded one. Speaker of the word. Herald of the Guardian. Yet I thought... To... Are you not Nui? Yet, they open the gates. Only the Nui can... Could it be? Is it time? Your sublime feet honor the sands of the eastern wind, itinerant one. Whatever your purpose, we are blessed by your presence. I am Akari, Magnificent One. Keeper of the truth. Steward of the ancient ways. Servant of the Nui. Surely there are none like you, Inimitable One. At least, I have never seen your like. I know none of that name or description. There is one who might know, but... Uh, he is not one to give information willingly. Except, perhaps, to another Nui. Of course, of course. <laughs> Forgive my deliberation, ardent one. <laughs> His name is Eslan. The Undying King. No doubt he will be... overjoyed to meet... a rival. Like all Akari, I am only eager to see the Guardian restored, and the planet reborn. Oh, discerning one. It is my joy then, my great honor, to help you find the Nui who was alive when said Guardian fell. None. Only one has there ever been since the days of the Guardian. Your arrival is... unprecedented. Portentious. He rules from the citadel, in the canyons beyond the Black Sun Gate. The gate has been sealed since time forgotten. Oh, but no doubt you will find a way, Dynamic One. Go well, Enlightened One. A blessed reunion to you, glorious one. He rules from the gate has he rules. The gate has been sealed. Go well.
smell about you. Not the wastes, nor the citadels. Where are you from, friend? Oh, yes, sir. That would explain it. Oh, I've never smelt your kind before. Wherever you're from, you are welcome here. My prices are the same for all. You may also be interested in information. Boring. Akari. Even the great king himself. None keeps secrets from one. So, how can I help you? Hmm. What interests you, friend? Oh. oh, ah, yes. The Buri often improve their own bodies, making themselves stronger. I'm sure you've seen this. The Idri. The Chosen Ones, for example, are given powerful crystals that grant unique gifts and visions. Oh, astute friend, you have a discerning eye indeed. Or maybe more than one. <laughs> no, one's mask is the creation one me. My strength lies in the quality of my wares. You may. An ancient monster, relic of a bygone era. I found it many years ago, but could never make it work. Though, given its size, perhaps it better serves as a statue. An ancient, though, size. Oh, business it is. I have many goods to barter. Or, perhaps you are after my secret. A blind man hears much. Secrets that may escape the notice of others. I know many things. For 100 scrap, I'll share one piece of information with you. Something I guarantee you won't hear anywhere else. Oh, oh, what a shame. Come back when you have something to spend. Not many know this, but there are two types of Buri, the Sul and the Kari. The Sul are large, powerfully built. You are, in fact, looking at one. <laughs> but the Kari are less well known, smaller, quicker, masters of the hunt. Keep your eyes open. I appreciate your business, friend. 
the Akari were once priests of the Undying Jing. <laughs> Both servants and worshippers. Not so anymore. Those alive today believe the king is a heretic. <laughs> One must die if the Guardian is to be reborn. Aren't they wrong? Until the Guardian rises again, who can say? There is a Buri outcast who lives among the hounds of the waste. He was a patron of mine before he became one of them. Perhaps you have met him? Yes. But you don't know this. That thing in his head is no crystal or decoration. He has crafted to himself a fear control rod. Islan, the undying king, is wise and all-knowing. Or merely all-knowing. His weakness is his belief that none can challenge him. He cannot foresee any future in which he himself dies. But everyone can die. Yes. <laughs> and uh, a tyrant's death would be a boon to many? Including the one who brought it about? You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> you have drained me of secrets. Uh, 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 but in exchange, I have a special piece of armor just for you. <laughs> Take a look. An ancient quality goods for the discerning eye. Next time, friend.
I can't believe... I can't believe it. I'm alive. I'm alive!
finally lost it. I'd be afraid to step a toe in there. Who knows when it'll take off again. Hello there, friend. 
you found the great disappearing tower. Oh, what an adventure. How many mysteries it must hold. Certainly. Uh, it... Traveler, you have seen the skein of worlds. You have walked the labyrinth. Walk the world's wanderer. The founder lies beyond. He waits, but he does not know he waits. At...